Dr. Tangamutu Satyamurti has worked hard since the end of the war in 2009 to put the brutal conflict behind him. He is one of five doctors who treated civilians caught between government and Tamil Tiger fighters. Uh, mother and father, they brought uh, two children. So the one was uh, had a head injury, you know, I just noticed, I told them going to die. Then, then father brought the next one, uh, the, the, the next child had an injury on neck. And I told the father, this one also going to die. And they were crying, uh, you know, so at least help one. Arrested by the government, questioned and released after the war, he quickly returned to his job. He now uses his spare time to teach young people how to make the best of their education. Ten years after the end of the war, Dr. Satyamurti hopes programs like these will give students more opportunities to build a better future. It's an option that may have kept Kandalan from joining the Tigers when he was 16 years old. Today his battle is to provide for his family after spending three years in prison. I got conditional bail and have to go and sign in every month. This is a must no matter where I work. I also have to attend court hearings. The three years that I was in prison, we got into a lot of debt. That's a common feature in most households here in the former war zone. Many families struggle to make ends meet. These people who were devastated during the war, who could not earn a living for many, many years, uh, even over the last 10 years, are still in an economic uh, crisis of sorts. And um, we have yet to see how we are going to get them out of this. High rates of unemployment have not helped. The aftermath of the war has left households struggling to cope financially with little or few opportunities. And many have lost family members or are waiting for news of those still missing. Government troops battled a 26-year war with the Tamil Tigers, who fought to win their rights against what they described as discrimination by Sri Lanka's Sinhalese majority. Successive governments could not defeat the Tigers until President Mahindra Rajapaksa took power. He won the war, but many say he lost the peace and alienated the Tamil people amid serious allegations of human rights violations. Both the government and the LTTE were accused of committing war crimes, but only the government has faced pressure to answer for its actions so far. A senior government official in the north says the government could have done more. Every life counts and every life needs to be answered for and without which we can't go move forward our democracy. If we move forward without answering, our democracy will be a hollow, and there won't be any justice for that and I'm standing for that. Dr. Satyamurti hopes those pledges will be honoured. Till then, he's concentrating on helping young Tamils better their lives. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Kilinoche, Northern Sri Lanka.